Hi everybody. Yeah, so as promised, we thought we'd come down and have a look for the blacksmith lapwing nest. Now for those of you who might be joining us for the first safari, the blacksmith lapwing, there's one over by the water's edge there. So this is one of the parents. So we had a, just to set the scene for those of you who missed the uh, sunrise, uh, sunset safari last night, we had a herd of elephants that came down, we had a boisterous little male elephant that was chasing everything away and uh, the blacksmith lapwings were calling but I thought it you know it was just them just calling because they can get a little bit jumpy sometimes but I didn't see them um, dive bomb or try to dive bomb any of the elephants which is quite normal if you're getting too close to a nest um, it was just calling as it is now um, I thought I could hear something else calling then, but it's it's not what I was thinking. So you can hear where it gets its name from, the blacksmith hammer on an anvil. Sounds like the metal clanking against the metal, basically. And it's actually walking towards where we think the nest actually was. So I think I found the nest, uh, judging by where all the uh, where, where all the features are. So the elephants came down to drink. The little boy was, say, chasing everyone away. And at some stage, we think uh, one of the elephants actually trod on the lapwing nest. Now, the lap, the eggs are usually extremely well camouflaged. They blend in. It's quite out in the open for the lapwings. Um, they seem to prefer to, to tuck it underneath a bush or something like that. So it's quite exposed. So I'm just wondering if these lapwings are maybe um, not very experienced par um, parents. So p perhaps they've put it out in the open like this. But... Elephants are usually quite careful where they put their feet, so it, it's possible that maybe the elephant was distracted, um, or as I say, just really didn't know it was there. But we we were discussing this last night, and uh, both myself and Byron have actually had friends experience, or have actually directly experienced, elephants actually at night walking amongst people in sleeping bags, and you can see where the trunks have actually been uh, sniffing just to make sure they're not actually putting their feet on the people. Um, a friend in particular, he was a young lad, and he actually remembers uh, experiencing that, and the elephants actually walked very quietly in amongst the children that were sleeping to get to a basket of fruit that was actually put at the back of a boma, uh, just a, a fenced off area where the children were actually sleeping, and the parents couldn't do anything, because if they shouted or screamed or anything, then it would have all uh, broken out and obviously injured and maybe killed some children but they just literally had to watch with baited bread just what on earth is going to happen and the elephants just crept in got the food and crept out again and say no child was harmed so their, their feet are just so sensitive that's why it's quite a shock to us that uh, it looks like it wasn't even the young elephant because we thought maybe it was the young elephant that may have stepped on the next nest by accident by chasing uh, the the yeah definitely a story, Chris. It really is. When uh, my friend was telling me, I was also, oh, what's going to happen? But my friend was sat there, so I knew he didn't get harmed. Um, but yeah, so that we were quite amazed that they, they they found the nest. But that's why we thought maybe it was the young elephant, you know, sort of chasing things, not really aware of anything. It would make sense. But when we've seen the the clip from the uh, one of the zoomies, uh, there's the elephant. Uh, it looks like it was a, a, an adult elephant um, who was fairly calm. So I'm just going to go and point to where I think the nest is. There isn't anything there. There's one or two bits of um, feather, but that's about it. I I thought if there was anything, if the eggs hadn't been crushed, I thought they, I might still be able to see them. But obviously with predators wandering around overnight, I thought if the eggs had uh, been cracked, then there's not likely to be... Uh, anything around the predator would probably have cleared it up and I think that's what's actually happened but I'm hoping it's it's kind of um, given you closure I suppose kind of wondering did it survive did it not survive at least and unfortunately things like this do happen in the bush and as I say even uh, inexperienced adults uh, you know with offspring they, they can actually learn sometimes from their mistakes it'll be interesting to see if these blacksmith lapwings do that because uh, I say it is fairly open but maybe they chose it because there's the two logs there now, as I say the behavior they usually dive bomb so as I'm walking towards the nest they're still very protective I've already been out to have a quick look so you might see them 
um, sort of flying over, I actually thought they were going to dive bomb me, which made me thought, think that maybe there's something still around. But um, there's the other adult there. So as I walk out, you might just see that behaviour that wasn't there yesterday from what I saw. So they're flying overhead, and it could be that uh, there, there isn't too much to protect here, so that might be why they're not going to dive bomb me directly. But certainly we didn't say them take to the skies like that. But I think this is where the nest was. Uh, sorry, not this one. <laughs> Pointing to the wrong one. But this is why it, it, they really don't make a big song and dance about a nest, because obviously if they do, predators are going to be able to find the nest very easily. So it's a little scrape in the ground. There's a couple of sticks in there, uh, but I, I am seeing a couple of feathers, downy feathers. Um, but as I say, they wouldn't actually line the nest because as soon as the eggs hatch open, the chicks are going to be able to move around and they'll move away from the nest. But I'm not seeing anything else in there. So. I think I think we've got the right place. So, as I say, unfortunately, that is what happens in the bush. It's all about survival. And unfortunately, this time, the parents didn't really pick the right spot for their nest. Very sad. 